Hey everyone and welcome to Norris Cove or welcome back. I'm Yoshida and here at The Cove we're all about budgeting, finances, business, all the great stuff and also I like to plan my life minimally or functionally in a planner. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in and you would love to see more content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that um, notification bell. But today we're going to be doing my business flip. It is a long overdue <laughs> uh, awaited flip. Um, I'm using the Notique cover. Um, I got this, I guess, about two years ago. And um, I can't remember the color name. But also inside is the clear, I'm um, not for sure what these are called, by cloth and paper. Um, I had the other one that was just clear. Let me see if I got it over here. Here it is. I just recently switched that out to, the, to this one here. But this is the other one that goes with the back part. And I just like to switch that up from time to time. And so it is just tucked in the back like this but I'm gonna start over here in the pockets um, this is just a memo note card from cloth and paper and this is just one of my long-term goals just to be in Forbes and so I have that stuck there to kind of as a reminder um, I've kind of messed these up but these are some task cards that I made um, this is my business task card and you know I would just put these things there I got to make some more I'm sure the other ones are down in there somewhere. Um, this uh, drawing card is in this month's sub box, so I decided to stick it here. And then this exceptional card is by cloth and paper. Um, this is another card that's in our, it's like a oops, so I threw it in here. It is in our sub box this month of February, and it's just all about routines and just a reminder to keep a routine in my budget planner. And then here's one of my business cards, and I keep them in here in case I have my business planner out, which I don't. And I had a stack of them in here, but I was getting low, so I started putting them in orders. Uh, let's see what else we got here. And then a little freebie from Sweet Caress, and I really don't know why this is in here. And these, I believe, are from either Infinite Lotus or Sesame. No, these are from Cloth and Paper. Um, some goals cards. So, here we go. And then, oh, I have some stickers in here that I pretty, pretty much don't use. Uh, cloth and Paper stickers from my shop. And, yeah, the budget box. I was looking for these. <laughs> They're in the wrong planner. Let me take those out. And I'm going to stick those there. And then I just have a journaling card here from cloth and paper. What comes next? I just wanted to add a little black to the planner. And then um, I have this dashboard here, of course, that's from cloth and paper. I've had it for a while. I just opened it. Um, another dashboard from cloth and paper on vellum. Um, this is just the dashboard that I made, like kind of like a vision board. I love nice things and in this aesthetic, so I added that, and that's really old. I made that about two, three years ago. This is my inbox section. The top tabs are from the top dividers. Yeah, these are dividers from cloth and paper. I just made a little inbox, cloth and paper, cloth and paper, cloth and paper, and just the word saying stay consistent, a cloth and paper, um, sticky note, and then here on the back, this is from, I believe, Wildly Noted and Planner Aesthetic, I believe. And then this is the task delegation. And I just keep this page to kind of need a reminder whenever I forget how to use this insert. And this is just a task insert. As you can see, this is from 2021. But And then there's July, October of, I believe, last year. And then I finally made it <laughs> to February. So I didn't want to waste those. And I actually could take... No, I'll leave those. So those are the task delegation inserts, which are also by cloth and paper. And then um, I just did a flip. You'll see that first. But um, I just added this Kanban board because it was working so well in my A5. So I decided, because I was putting a lot of business stuff on the Kanban board in my A5. So I'm going to have it here now love it in my a5 another divider by cloth and paper all of the dividers are by cloth and paper and the scripts are by me 
and this is just another dashboard I made like through Canva. This is from our budget box and I'm just using it in here. Yearly overview. And uh, ooh, I think these are by Paper Test Designs, um, the yearly overview in horizontal form. And for me, I like to kind of list um, like the sub boxes, any type of bills that are budget, I mean, excuse me, business related. And then this insert is by Cloth and Paper. Um, of course, I think it came in a sub box or I think you either purchased these. The overview stickers are cloth and paper. These inserts you can find in my shop. These are my monthlies. And then this is February. Then I have a Gantt chart by cloth and paper. Love this. Um, didn't know I needed it until now. Love this. Um, I'll be doing this again for March and everything's working out. And that's how I plan for the budget box as well. I have several ways I plan for the budget box, but so all of this is calendar. I do have the full year in here and I think I'm using the one and a half clear disc by cloth and paper. Cloth and paper. Um, I think I made this dashboard on Canva. Cloth and paper, cloth and paper, cloth and paper, cloth and paper, and this dashboard I've had in here for a few years. This is by Lena over at Rose Shadow Collection. This is cloth and paper's weekly section, and I think this is when I first started. Yeah, this is my first budget box, and this is one of the ways that I planned it. I just kind of wrote down everything that I wanted in there. I checked it off. Um... And then I just made little notes over here with the little um, sticky notes from that first box. And this is the weekly dashboard and I'm loving this. So I had to order more. You only get eight weeks, which I found surprising because I'm running out of them really soon. But I use these weekly um, timed inserts from cloth and paper to also plan my business and then I have room over here and as you can see I have the graph here I don't even worry about that um I had a meeting with myself stuck it in here and then let's see this is the November December it's another way I was planning it and just finalizing some things planning the budget box again these inserts are from cloth and paper and here are some more things just listed here. Uh, this top task sticky note is from my shop. I mean, out of paper. So I stuck in some old, um, these are in my shop. I stuck in these weeklies and I just like, I need the ones from cloth and paper. Even though these are mine, um, I still like try to plan because I need a weekly overview cloth and paper this is the one minute habit dashboard um i think this sticky note is from the planner spot cloth and paper just a random uh paper clip cloth and paper cloth and paper this is my daily section i should have noted that And then these are cloth and paper. And then these are in my shop. These are just like the task list. And I use that to plan daily sometimes. So these are some things I had to do on the 18th to prepare for the budget box. And then this is also planning the budget box. And this is from 2021, but I did like these to daily plan. And these are by cloth and paper. This is their journal inserts. And I love these for daily planning, especially um, here because sometimes there's not a lot to do daily. Um, so this is the 20th where I was planning stuff. Again, some more task inserts. And then again, these task inserts can be found in my shop. And then this is cloth and paper cloth and paper this is their space dashboard and I just stuck some icons on these right here to like write in any notes or anything like that cloth and paper cloth and paper and then this is just a vellum that I made for myself and it just has my name right there here's a sticky note from cloth and paper this dashboard is from cloth and paper and then these are just some um budget box ideas to like promo ideas reels and things like that these are business ideas of all the businesses that i want to start some shop ideas included here um add to the business like sticky notes inserts print it all that great stuff and then this is another dashboard i made um on canva 
I believe this is from cloth and paper, but again, there's my business card and these are some journaling cards that I created, a mental download. And I use this for ideas because it has idea one, two, three. So I use this to kind of plan out the budget box, just different things or things that I want to add to the shop. And then I have this page flag here with the light bulb on it. And then this says private. So just some ideas I have for the budget box. Uh, I'll just show it anyway. So um, these are like all of the list of the things that I want, the things that I'll have for the budget box. These are some future things that I want to do for the budget box. And then I planned out the business webinar here. Um, let's see. I don't know. This is, oh yeah, this is the business bundle that I'm planning here. Um, so yeah, we get past those. And I got a lot of those because I have a lot of ideas. And then this is from Cloth and Paper, the double-sided um, dashboard. And then this is just like some business goals on a half sheet from Cloth and Paper. I don't know where this insert came from. I don't know if I downloaded it because it's on this like off-white paper. But I can't get rid of it because I have ideas in here. So um, it's just here. <laughs> and then these are from Cloth and Paper. And um, yeah, and also these are video ideas. These inserts are from cloth and paper, and these are just, again, ideas, blog ideas, another cloth and paper dashboard, and these are the executive notes from cloth and paper. As you can see, it's really busy. These are videos I've done. Um, I'll try to remember to list this one above, but this is the five tips um, for budgeting as being self-employed, and this is my script, just notes I took and wrote. And that's how I pretty much plan out things that I have to talk, um, like face to face or something like that. I take notes. Customers in business. I think this is one I haven't done. Uh, obviously, this was May of either last year, maybe the year before that. Uh, finding your target customer in business. So I like the executive notes because I can put headings here. I can mark out the month and stuff like that. And that's how I do the script for that. Um, what I would do differently before opening a sticker shop. I don't know if I put that one up. I got to look at my podcast. I know it's not on my channel, so it could be a podcast or a um, YouTube video, but the script is already done. So I just need to do the video. Um, business mapping. This is just personal um, me mapping things out for my business, what I needed and all that great stuff. So there we go. And then some more extra notes. And then this is my research section, um, setting up sinking funds, um, brain dump, you know, whatever. Just basically brain dumps. I just did this one. Um, this is like my wish list of things that I want um, for my business. Some more executive notes. And then this is my site over eyesight. This is just on some, um, I don't know what you call this paper, but it's really thin. Trans, I don't know what to call this paper, but anyway, um, I did this some years ago. I was going to sell it, but I didn't really like the paper, so it's just there. Uh, another dashboard that I made, and then this is from, I made this um, dashboard myself. Got some um, pockets to add here, and this is actually the chopping board from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut it to size, stuck these uh, pockets on here, made those. And then these are my inventory and profit sheet. They'll be a part of the business bundle. I'm testing them out. I'm working with them. I still haven't like finished it. And back here, this is another one. It's an inventory tracker. And I'm supposedly, I quote, air quote, because... I'm not keeping up with it, and I feel like I need to kind of move that to the front. But um, trying to track when I sell a budget box or whatever, or just other things I'm selling. And then this just is the unit sold. So I just take um, the clean color dot. This is the only one I have. I can never get the other colors and just um, dot them. And then being that I know the price. So I'm kind of testing this out. I made this insert. I see some mistakes, but I'm testing it out because I want to see 
what I'm kind of selling and kind of keep track of my um, orders that way. And then this was the old inventory and profit sheet from another business bundle that just never came out that I did. And I am, um, I just crossed those out so you can see. So I was tracking it that way. And then this is the budgeting bundle from Cloth and Paper. I had this mini HP in a sub box and it came. So I just decided to use it here instead of putting mine. And I was just writing down, um, trying to figure it out for my business without having to put my other one in there and without having to create one. And then here, here's the back. And then in this pocket, I made this dashboard as well. Um, this is a cloth and paper um, journaling card. Cloth and paper and then cloth and paper here. And that's it, y'all. And then this is what this looks like outside of there. And I love it because I can, like, if I needed to use it as a notebook, take it out, I can just flip this and write on here, which I very seldom do. I just still take the papers out. But, um, yeah, she's quite chunky. Um, the reason why I haven't done a flip is because I felt like my business plan was kind of all over the place. I've recently tried to update it, but hopefully during my consultation, I'll get some... Um, guidance on how to really set this up nicely but yeah that is my business planner she's chunky i love it chunky and again i love this uh, cover from notique i actually want to get another one but that's all i have for today you guys thank you so much for watching if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video please do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye